guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 5 of tutorial series on deploying Flask application on the EC2 instance with Docker. In the previous tutorial, we had built the Docker image and ran the same. Also, I have taken you through the bridge and host network driver. And now in this tutorial, we are going to create the Nginx configuration file as well as the Docker file for Nginx web server. Right, so this was our directory structure and this is where we left off, right? So here uh, we are going to create the new directory. We will name it as nginx under flask-docker. So let's go ahead and create that. So right click uh, new folder, nginx, right? And now within Nginx, we are going to create two files uh, that is uh, the configuration file and the Docker file. So we will start with the configuration file. So within Nginx, right click new file, save it as flaskapp.conf. You can save as uh, any name you want, right? So I'm saving it as flaskapp.configuration, that is .conf, save this file. Now here uh, it's going to be a simple file. So we will start with the server directive, followed by listen, that is port number, followed by server name. This so here within server name, uh, we are going to fetch the value from the environment variable. So I will define the environment variable as dollar in caps server underscore name, right? Followed by location. Followed by proxy underscore set underscore header space host dollar host and followed by proxy pass that is going to be http colon double forward slash o dot o dot o dot o colon 8000 because uh, on o.o.o .o .o colon 8000 our flask application will be running right so that's proxy pass and we are done with the configuration file of the nginx right so this is kind of the very basic configuration file that we had defined now once we are done with the configuration file we will create a new file saying a docker file right so right click new file, save it as docker file. Now, as we know that from the previous tutorial or one of the previous tutorial, uh, the docker file starts with the definition of the base image, right? So that's going to be from nginx, right? and this will followed by two lines and then we are done with the docker file so first we will remove the default configuration file and then we will copy our flaskapp.configuration file to the container or the image right so we will say run remove that is rm slash etc slash nginx followed by conf dot d slash default dot conf right so this will remove the default configuration file of nginx and then uh, we will say copy let me copy this name rename copy so we want to copy this file that is flaskapp.conf where we want to copy that is slash etc slash nginx slash conf dot d 
right? So on this location, we want the file, right? So let me make sure that I had not done any spelling mistakes. So that is run rm stands for remove slash etc slash nginx slash conf dot d slash default dot conf. Yeah. Then copy flask app dot conf to slash etc nginx conf dot d and slash right and now we are also done with the docker file right so here we have flask app dot configuration and we have docker file right so probably that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial we will update the docker compose file for running nginx container right so in the next tutorial we are going to update this file and here we will define another service like we have defined flask app to run the nginx container right so well uh, that's it for now and till that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time